hey you guys welcome to my channel so today i'm doing a new protective style because your girl is suffering lately my hair is like paper thin i am definitely gonna have to be protective styling it up this year for sure anyways i have some new boho locks from eon hair they are actually a new product for them so i'm gonna show you guys an up close picture of them but here they are they come in this like little bag but these locks are actually on the smaller side and you know how boho locks like they're more curlier these are a body wave texture so they're just more straight like they have like the slightest wave to them so i would suspect with them being body wave they might be easier to take care of because we all know i'm sorry y'all i know y'all hear my washer my loud washer in there and all this wind y'all know i live right by the water and the wind is always ridiculous the windows are like shaking the screens are shaking it's anyways typically i've done and i'm sure you've done and our main complaint is we love the boho style when it comes to braids and locks and whatnot but taking care of this excess hair is a bit of a challenge so let's let's just see what happens i'll be honest it's definitely going to be a lazy girl uh install but we gonna make it good because we always got to make sure we are super cute and honestly y'all i don't really have any plans to wear this hair down most likely it will be half up half down because that's just how i like to wear my boho styles and i think i'm only gonna do one or two rows of like the illusion method i'm not gonna go back that far or anything because i just don't feel like it today with my hair being straight it's a lot harder for me to braid if that makes sense i like i like braiding my hair when it's more just blown out not flat iron and super straight like it is now i hope that makes sense because i already have fine hair so i think i'm just going to do one or two rows of the illusion method and then cornrow the rest back i'm not even going to do small cornrows they're probably going to be on the bigger side and then install these so yeah let's go ahead and get to it all right y'all so just an up close look at the locks i will be installing the boho i'm sorry the body wave it goes all the way to the end you get about 22 locks per package and as far as like the little pieces on the lock, it's about five additional like little strands of body wave hair. This is human hair, keep that in mind. And about 12 inches of extra on the ends of each um, lock, like extra body wave. And here's just the up close look at the loop. All right, y'all, so the most important thing with this style is really just your foundation. So however you're gonna do your curl rolls, they don't have to be absolutely perfect because y'all, I already told y'all this is lazy girl and my stuff is never straight. It's really not gonna be straight. I didn't have time to make things skinny and small, all that kind of stuff wasn't happening, but you just do wanna make sure your braids are as flat as possible. So it was kind of like a lose win in the situation with my hair being already flat ironed because because I don't like to braid the front of my hair like I'm doing right here. I'm gonna add in 10 individual braids and I'm not even braiding all the way down for the illusion method. I don't like to braid the front of my hair because it's already thin um, when it's flat ironed, but it made braiding the rest of my hair very easy if y'all get what I'm trying to say. Going in, just adding a little bit of my neat braid gel. I'm adding 10 braids total to the front of my head. I started to do two rows, which you saw me parting out in the beginning, but I opted not to because I really just didn't feel like it. If you choose to do this step, make sure you're not braiding too tight because you do have to get um, the crochet through your braid. So I'm being extremely gentle and I'm being super careful. You guys see the look on my face right now? Like your girl was focused, okay? I was not trying to yank out any more hair or any hair at all. I, wanted, I don't even wanna say any more. So I am just went on ahead and added these 10 braids and then I went on ahead and corn rolled the rest of my hair down. And this is what we're looking like. Don't ask me about the middle. I thought I could do some kind of like zigzag thing in the middle but apparently I should have not done that but cornrows are looking neat they're looking flat and that's what we wanted they don't have to be perfect because the hair should cover all your imperfections okay I am not gonna bore y'all with crocheting these locks in my head because we all know how to crochet by now if you don't they are a there are a billion videos on the tube it's super easy I'm not about to sit here and bore y'all but I did do it two different ways one just taking the ends of the hair and pulling it through once I got the needle in. 
This you kind of have to be careful about because of the extra hair. You don't want it to get tangled or anything like that. Um, so I did this kind of like in the front of the hair because I could see a lot better um, and make sure none of the hair got pulled through. This was me thinking about the uh, <laughs> the ways I was gonna do this. And y'all, the other way I did it was just how you would normally do a crochet braid. It's very simple to the point, the original way. So I'm just doing this throughout my entire head. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit and then we'll move on to laying my edges, um, finishing styles, and a few other styles you can do with these boho locks. So don't go anywhere. All right, y'all, so after I install all the locks, okay, I know what y'all are thinking. It's looking a little spacey, a little sparse. I will, I'll let y'all know what happened in the end of this video, so stay tuned. But I'm just adding a little bit of water just to um, get any kind of tangles or clumping out, I guess you should say. I didn't really have any tangles, but just kind of really getting the waves to come out in the body wave hair. Um, just sprayed a little bit of water, nothing else because it's, like why why add more product when i really didn't need to next y'all i'm just gonna lay my edges using my blue lagoon jam y'all know this is my go-to this is the only product that i use to keep my edges in place and that's really it for this style you guys um i'm gonna show you guys just a few hairstyles or just a few little looks you can do with these uh, body wave locks and also give you my final thoughts at the end of this video and also don't forget to check the description box for all the hair details and any product details as well. And yeah, don't go anywhere. final look and I love the outcome of it. So I do have pros and cons. I'm going to go ahead and start with the pros first because they outweigh the cons. So first of all, I love the look. I just love the entire look. It's up my alley. It was super easy to do. Doesn't take a lot of skill at all. Just crochet it in and you're good to go. The body weight on here is up my alley as well, y'all. And I love the width of these locks. I typically have used locks that are much thicker than this okay I, I said much but not by like too much but they're thicker than this and i love the width of these i think they are perfect they're gonna allow you to do a whole bunch of styles if you want to whatever you feel you're gonna have some options with this hair as well no smells y'all so far no tangling no anything it's definitely super cute let me go ahead and get into the cons real fast because i gotta tell y'all so that you are aware but make sure you have enough locks i don't have enough locks um they sent me three packs which I thought I initially had five which I knew was gonna be enough but I only had three packs of locks the other was something else and I was like oh crap like when I finished that third bundle and I realized I didn't have anything left I didn't know what to do luckily for me I start in the front of my head and was working my way back sort of they have the option on the website to either do three packs or four packs right now I would just go for the four pack and be done with it because it's always better to have more than you need than not enough. Secondly, the locks are tight. So you are able to adjust the loop on these 
but you kind of have to pull it down and I had to pull down each and every lock which in return slowed me down I think I finished my head like in three and a half hours I would say that was actually with like a lunch break too which is good like I didn't think I would be doing all of this today I was definitely prepared to break it up but like I was saying the loops on here are tight but that just kind of shows to me that the hair is well made and it should last you quite a while they're not gonna unravel quickly they're not gonna loosen up at the base really quickly they're not gonna fall out I don't even know if I would call it a con so yeah that's basically it you guys make sure you check the description box I'll put the direct link of these locks that I'm wearing so that you'll have it let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any questions comments all that great stuff let me know what you think about this style is it something you